Hello everybody, Swaminath here. Today we are going to see reports in SAP SD. So I'm going to create sales order. So sales order header table is where it is going to get stored in the database. So header table is VBAP. Header table VBAP is item table. Then I'm going to do delivery based on the sales order. So header table is LIKP, item table is LIPS, LIPS. Billing, I'm going to do billing. Then I'm going to do billing based out of this delivery. So it is VBRK and VBRP. Okay. So header table is customer related table. Item table is material related table. So that is, that is so called header table and item table. Let's go create a sales order. Go to VA01. VA01. OR is my standard order. Sales organization LD01, LD, distribution channel LD, division LD. Press enter. Enter sold to party. Six triple zero triple zero double two five is my sold to part. Enter material. Enter quantity. So enter payment terms and in code terms. Doubling onto this line item. Go to shipping tab. Enter storage location. Net weight and gross weight. Net weight and gross weight. Come back. I'm going to enter another one more material. Six eight nine seven is my material. Ten quantity ten. Same. Double click onto this line item. Go to shipping tab in storage location. Enter storage location LD zero one. Net weight and gross weight and save it. Let me save it. So this is my sales order 15176. 15176. This is my sales order. See here. This is my sales order. 15176. So now let me go to the back end and search for this. Go to SC16. My table name is V back. V back. V back. Press enter. Enter the sold to party. See here, this is header data. So it's customer related data. So header data is doubling onto this customer related data. Let's see where the customer is. This is the customer. See here, sold to party. This is my customer. Now let's come back. Go to VBAC. VBAC. Go to VBAC. VBAP. VBAP. Okay. Enter the sales document type. Execute. Now uh, this is material related data. Now I'm going to upload this to the Excel or let me select spreadsheet or anything unconverted. Okay, desktop VBAP dot txt txt generate. Okay, now let's go to the desktop and take this. VBAP. See here, VBAP. See here. Everything is downloaded. 4898489 material. Okay. So this is how you download it from the SAP system. You can download it in Excel also. Now let me do delivery. Go to VL01 here. VL. 01 n customer delivery vl 01 n okay enter shipping point ld01 press enter schedule lines not available let's enter 12 press enter 12 press enter Go to picking 10. Post, let's do post goods issue. Post goods issue. I'm just picked and post goods issue. Now, this is my delivery. This is my delivery. Let's go to the text and enter the delivery number. Okay. Now, I'm going to do from LIKP, I'm going to take the data. LIKP, go to LIKP. SC16, go to SC16. SC16. 
LIKKP. This header data. Enter the delivery number, execute. See Header data. This is the header data. Sold to party. Customer related. From now, LIPS. Go to LIPS. LIPS. Okay, enter the delivery. See here. Two. Let me upload upload it to the system. A download. Let me download. Dot txt. Generate. Triple S. Come back. Go to triple S. Where is it? See here. This is LIPS data. LIPS data. Okay. Now I'm going to billing. Let's do the billing. Go to VF01. VF01. Press enter and save. Save. Okay. So this is the billing data. Document. This is the billing. Billing number. Now let's go to this text text file. This is the billing data. VBRK and VBRP. Go to SC16. SC16. VBRK. 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 Okay. Billing document. Execute. See here. Header data. So now go to VBRP. Item data. VBRP, VBRP, and let's download the VBRP. Download it to the system, local system. So this is the download, execute VBRP, VBRP dot txt. Present. Let's see the report. VBRP. Where it is? Here it is. See here? VBRP. It's downloaded. This is the two. Two way. It's downloaded. So, thank you.